Hello adventurers. So I've got back a little while ago from my trip fishing where I just dropped in my lithium battery. Um, took the lead acid out and dropped in the lithium battery. And um, it's a game changer. Um, first of all, it's under bonnet. Uh, the company that I got it off, um, Aussie Solars and Batteries, they're a Queensland made battery. They verbally told me it was uh, warranted for under the bonnet operation uh, as long as I insulated it and that's I have insulated it and I'll show you that uh, shortly. Um, there's nothing in writing on the website so that's all a bit of a grey area but having used it um, out in the field it performed flawlessly. Um, it is absolute game changer. Um, temperature never got up and never got really past about 40 degrees in, in, in the battery. It's got two sensors in it so you can tell exactly what the BMS and the battery temperature is but I pulled it all I really did was I pulled out the lead acid battery I replaced it with uh, this lithium battery all the terminals and that were in the right place it's exactly the right size for the Prado second battery location I then just changed the wiring on the red arc I put it into the lithium profile which charges the lithiums fully um, they have a different profile has very high voltage towards the end one of the other things I noticed um, and uh, is common with lithium batteries is they charge really easily. They, you can punch in the full 25 watch wi watts which my Red Arc will, uh, that's the maximum that it charges at. There is a 50, um, sorry, amp, there is a 50 amp version as well. It'll, it'll take that full 25 amps right until it's 100%. Unlike a lead acid battery that as it gets um, more charged, it takes less current. So it's very quick to charge. Um, I've set up this uh, experiment today. I ran it down overnight with a fridge and I think it was at about 86, 87 percent and um, yeah, it took about an hour, a bit less than an hour to charge it fully up just with the morning sun. So extremely uh, quick to charge. Another thing that I found with the lithium battery compared to lead acid is it holds its voltage um, all the way through. So it doesn't get below 13 volts ever until it's dead empty. Unlike the lead acid battery that'll quickly work its way down from you know close to 13-ish right the way down to 11.5 um, at about a you know a 30 degree angle on the graph. Uh, the lithium battery just stays at above 13 the whole time, um, which is much more efficient, higher voltage, less current you need to use. Battery. This particular battery has a um, Bluetooth enabled BMS uh, battery management system internally and you just have an app on your phone. That is a game changer as well. That is um, extremely useful. You can see the BMS temperature, the battery temperature, the current, the voltage, state of charge, all the cells, whether they're balanced or not, all that information is at, at your fingertips. Um, that You could run without that but it definitely makes it a lot easier. So um, if I was getting a battery, I would definitely recommend getting um, a, a BMS with some sort of readout. This one being Bluetooth has a lot of information. So I definitely recommend that. Another thing about lithium batteries is they don't lose their performance over time. So I'll link to a, um, another channel that has a graph and, it, and all the data that backs it up that shows that after two years of abuse, um, the battery didn't lose any performance. A lithium under the bonnet battery. So um, I'll link to that and go take a look at that. It's definitely worth looking at. A lot of people um, always comment on under the bonnet lithiums and talk about heat and things like that. But I've, uh, I've insulated mine and uh, I haven't seen it get hot at all, to be honest. It's not much above ambient, but there is other data out there that really states that um, or shows that there's not a massive issue with normal, normal amounts of under bonnet heat. Um, Obviously, if it gets too hot with any battery, it's going to be detrimental. But really, I think that's going to be proven to be not an issue. Um, a bit the same as AGMs and others over time um, was proven not to be an issue. So, hello adventurers. So today, my lithium battery turned up and I'm going to stick that in the Prado and um, switch over the red arc to the lithium profile and this is under bonnet which um, this battery from uh, giant power that i got from aussie batteries and solar i believe um, this is an australian made battery uh, put together in queensland and it's also um, warranted for five years under bonnet and especially if you use this heat shield if you use this heat shield which has like a foamy type or a something in there 
that insulates the heat. They reckon that'll make quite a difference, up to 20 degrees at high temperatures. They'll warrant this battery for five years under bonnet. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to put that in and uh, set it up and see if we can get all this stuff to fit um, in the front of the Prado. So the first thing we do is get out this old one that is um, nearly at the end of its life and uh, see how we can fit the new one in. So let's uh, get to that. Take. All right, got the old battery out. It's on the ground here. We'll just check the new one for size and everything, but it should be exactly the right size and stick him in. Yep, she looks about exactly spot on for size. It's the same height. Um, terminals are on the same side. Negative, negative, positive, positive. So all the cables should fit. The only thing is I think these bolts might be a little short. I might have to get longer 8mm bolts. But that would be about it. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get it in with this cover. <coughs> So this here just wouldn't fit, it's just not enough room. So what I did is I cut the insulation out of it, which at the end of the day is just foam, so it's not that fancy. And I've just put it around the battery like that, which should, except for the silver, should basically do the same thing. I don't know how much difference that silver will make. One more little piece to put in and then uh, we'll get it together. So I'm just sticking together now all the terminals. I'll bolt it down and I'll change the red arc um, profile and then we'll start charging it. All right, got the terminals on for now. Um, I'll go and test it, then I've just got to put the uh, carrier on and uh, we'll be charging it up. Let's go and see what the what the uh, meter says in here. Get that out of the way, there's the meter just in there. So if I turn this on. Auxiliary at the moment is at, oh, it's down. It said it was down on the BMS as well, so it's 11.8. So we'll need to charge that up. Um, she's brand new off the shelf. All right, I've got the charger on there. It's charging at 12.9 volts. And the current I've got is, um, zero that, is 23, I don't know if you can see that, 23.4 amps. And when I look at the BMS on the phone, it's about the same. So let's go and have a look at the BMS. So this has its own built-in Bluetooth BMS. And there it's telling us that it's inputting uh, current 23.6 amps is coming in and it's at 12.9 volts. And then it's got some details of temperatures, uh, a couple of different temperatures internally. And, uh, and there it tells you a little gauge on the amount of power. So that's slowly climbing up. So let's see how that goes. Um, charging, uh, charging that up. I might actually drop the charger down to 16 amps and just let it charge up slower. And I've also now got to take off the bottom because the red arc, which is in there, I have to change to lithium mode, so we'll do that now. But if you can see in there, the A is blinking, which means it's in lead acid mode. So hopefully once we change that profile, the uh, LI will start blinking. So I'll put them in a convenient place. So here they are here. I'll put some heat shrink on and then I'll solder them together and uh, they should be right to go forever. All right, so that is done. And as you can see, the lithium profile is now flashing. So once we start the car, it should charge this lithium battery in a lithium profile. Alrighty, let's uh, get back to putting the bottom of the car back on. So that's just a quick video of my short experience in the lithium world and I will keep adding as I find things and discover things and try things I'll add to it but so far it is a, an absolute game changer and um, really interested to see how this works long term. Uh, different trips, different amounts of sun, different setups so I'll be adding to the lithium playlist as I go along. So I hope you enjoyed and until the next one, have a good one.